The biggest drag race in the world, the U.S. Nationals, certainly had NHRA Lucas Oil sportsman competitors on the grounds ready to vie for an event championship at the most prestigious race in NHRA drag racing. That included top alcohol dragster and top alcohol funny car. 20 top alcohol dragsters showed up for the 16 spots for the 69th running of the U.S. Nationals, and we were guaranteed for the first time in 2023 a full field of floppers with 18 funny cars showing up for the 16 spots. Before we look at the U.S. Nationals in particular, though, there was regional alcohol action taking place a week before the U.S. Nationals at Beach Bend Raceway Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Your winners of that competition in Top Alcohol Funny Car, it was Chris Foster. And in Top Alcohol Dragster, it was Mike Coughlin. For the U.S. Nationals, your number one qualifiers in both alcohol classes were Mike Coughlin at a 519 in Top Alcohol Dragster and Sean Bellamere with a 546 elapsed time in his Bartome Brothers Racing Funny Car. The points leaders at the first qualifying round were Sean Cowie in Top Alcohol Dragster and Doug Gordon in Top Alcohol Funny Car with Gordon well in the lead with the other Top Alcohol Funny Car competitors hoping to stop the bleeding at this point with Gordon looking to win his fourth straight national event in 2023. With Cowie, he led, but not by much over Tony Stewart and Julie Natus coming into the U.S. Nationals, and his lead would not last long at the 69th U.S. Nationals. Sean Cowie out round one with Madison Payne turning on the win light. The implications were profound with Sean losing and Tony Stewart and Julie Natus turning on their win lights in round one. Who would face against each other in round two? Effectively, at that time, number one and number two in the points and winner take the points lead at the U.S. Nationals. Two standouts that made it to the semifinal round in Top Alcohol Dragster. One being J.P. Gutierrez performing well and quite literally at this point the last man standing. Also, Megan Smith here for the U.S. Nationals took out the number one qualifier, Mike Coughlin, and made a semifinal round appearance. You are looking at the only blown methanol combination still racing. Monday at the U.S. Nationals, J.P. Gutierrez is still in the hunt for a U.S. Nationals win, representing the blown guys. Can you take it all the way to the final? Oh, I think we can. I think we got a good chance next round. The car's certainly been running real good, and uh, we got it tuned up just a hair uh, to run Julie because she's running really well, too. She's got low for eliminations right now at uh, 520. So we went 28 yesterday, and uh, we think we got something for her, or at least we're going to keep it fair. Clemson University and Bucky's, you got to like that, especially when you're from the upstate of South Carolina like I am, and this girl, Megan Smith. We got to pull for each other, and you are pulling into the semifinals here at Indy. 
Yeah, it's been a crazy weekend. Um, we haven't performed like we thought we would, but we made it in the field, and then we took down number one qualifier, and then we finally found some performance in this thing, and I'm just so proud of my guys and my team, and we're racing on Monday at the U.S. Nationals. I couldn't ask for anything more. Now, very quickly, so everyone knows, they can put your face with lineage. Dear old mom and dad, who are they? Uh, my mom's Rhonda Hartman Smith. My dad's John Smith, uh, Bodie, and uh, they are former top field drivers. And my dad still drives Nitro Funny Car with his dad, and uh, it's just awesome watching them race here back in the early 2000s when I was a toddler and. Remember waving to the fans and stuff, and now I'm doing it with my car. I, it's just so cool. It gives me chills. Megan, continuing a family tradition. The final round matchup, the ladies going at it for a U.S. Nationals title. Madison Payne had already took out one points leader in Sean Cowie earlier in the day. Can she do it again against Julie Natus, who is leading the points at this moment in the race? Or can Julie extend her points lead and begin to pull away in that championship hunt from the likes of a Tony Stewart and Sean Cowie? Well, the girl with all the muscle here at the U.S. Nationals is Madison Payne picking up a win where family has done well before and you add to the legacy at the biggest drag race in the world. Yeah, this win has made our whole year worth it and we can't be happier enough and this is just an amazing end to our weekend. That didn't start so great, but our team really turned it around and I can't thank them enough. It's impressive, Madison. You've got already in your career big wins, a win over a legend in Tony Stewart and now the biggest drag race in the world. You got a knack for getting some big ones. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how it works out, but the two races I've won have been big ones. Now we just got to work on winning regular ones. So, but we're really happy. This is, this is so great. Congratulations to Madison Payne on her U.S. Nationals win. We'll move on to top alcohol funny car competition. The major players that showed up for this 69th running the U.S. Nationals, certainly you have to look at Doug Gordon, Sean Bellamere, and also Brian Howe. But you do also have contenders that just run well here. For example, Kyle Smith, he is the defending JEGS All-Star winner, and he got the job done right here at Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park. And Mr. Smith was able to win over Mr. Stack in round one. Both Jim and Annie Whiteley were here in competition for the U.S. Nationals, and they were both able to advance to the quarterfinal round where they would face off against each other, husband versus wife.
Brian Howe once again met the big bad red car in Doug Gordon at a national event in 2023 and did so early in the day. And once again, Brian Howe lost to Doug Gordon. In the semifinals, Jim Whiteley had a tough order. He would have to face Doug Gordon, the points leader, and a man aiming for his fourth straight national event win at this point in 2023. And Kyle Smith would have to go up against Sean Bellamere, the number one qualifier. That is Doug Gordon's hot rod, and a new bullet is in it that, well, hasn't won him a national event yet. You are going for four straight here at the U.S. Nationals. Yeah, no, this is this is big. I mean, we were so stoked to get to win that round against Brian Howe yesterday, get to race here on Monday. Uh, this is a big deal, you know, and just to be able to race on race day is really big to us. And so if we can get the job done today, would be fantastic. But uh, we're a little bit behind uh, Bellamere and stuff right now. And we got Jim Whiteley throws out a bag of donuts uh, in the previous round. So uh, he's going to be tough. He's been going down track every time. And they got Brandon Snyder over there tuning that thing. So uh, we got our... Um, we got our task ahead of us here, but uh, I think we're up for the challenge. Wrapped up like a newborn baby. That motor is ready to rock in the semifinals here at the U.S. Nationals. Kyle Smith, last year's winner of the Jags All-Star Program in Alcohol Funny Car. You got a knack for doing well here in Indy. Yeah, you know, our car really seems to run well here. Dad's got a good, uh, a good handle on it. But, you know, you got two world champions that, that uh, are still here and they're running really fast but uh, really proud of our team dad's worked really hard to try to make this thing run easy recycle store mel hamilton ford racing you know we really appreciate all they do for us and uh you know we're gonna go give shot a sean a run you know he we owe him one he's got me a few times he got me at dallas last year in the final i really wanted that one but uh you know we're gonna we're gonna keep him honest over there The number one qualifier in Sean Bellamere, the big bad black car, versus Doug Gordon, the points leader in the big bad red car in top alcohol funny car competition here at the U.S. Nationals for the win. Sean Bellamere needs to stop the bleeding of the losing out on precious points as Doug Gordon has continued to win after win after win accumulate such precious points in top alcohol funny car competition.
Once again, winning the U.S. Nationals two years in a row, he adds to already a career that puts him as one of the top competitors ever in top alcohol. Funny car, and you needed to stop Doug Gordon, and you did it, Sean Bellamere, at Indy. Well, the Killer Bees did it. I, uh, I, they bailed me out in the final. Steve gave it the horsepower it needed, and what a race. I mean, I, I feel like us and the Gordon family put on such a great show every time, whether it be qualifying eliminations. Um, and that was a little redemption for Brainerd. They embarrassed us in Brainerd and flat kicked our butts. And so uh, we had her tuned up. We know we had to be A+. Plus. I actually screwed up on the starting line a little bit, and God bless Steve Boggs' horsepower because he got us bailed out, and uh, we were able to get the win. But uh, what a weekend. It's the U.S. Nationals. It's a boyhood dream to even come here, let alone win it, and now win it three times. I, I'm on cloud nine. I can't even really believe it. So, um, you know, my, uh, my dad gave me really good advice after we started rolling off some wins, and that was, you know, party like it's the first one you ever won, but respect it like it's the last one you'll ever win. And so... Uh, when I saw that wind light come on and they were screaming in the radio, I just broke down crying again like I'd never done it before. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of the guys. Garrett Bateman on the team, this is his first Indy win, so that's really, really special for us. So, uh, you know, we're going uh, to celebrate tonight and, and uh, have some fun for the next week or so, regroup and uh, head to Reading. The 69th U.S. Nationals certainly did not disappoint concerning the results. Congratulations to Madison Payne. She wins her first ever U.S. Nationals in her young top alcohol dragster career, adding to the family's history and legacy right here and in the NHRA. Julie Natus, she takes the points lead away from the U.S. Nationals, leading over the likes of Tony Stewart and Sean Cowie, others all vying for a national championship and what a national championship battle we have currently in top alcohol dragster. Sean Bellamere has been clear that they want that number one back on that black car for the Killer Bees, but they have got to catch up to Doug Gordon and he was able to stop some of the bleeding in putting away Doug Gordon in the final round and not allowing him to win his fourth straight national event in 2023 at this point. Top alcohol competition certainly is some of the top competition I think we've got right now in the NHRA. And it is going to continue to play out, and I think, all the way to Pomona. I'm Lee Kraft, the Monday Morning Racer, bringing you this top alcohol report from Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park on the 69th running of the U.S. Nationals. Brought to you by McKinney Corp.